Hey everyone, welcome back. So, listen to this. Recently, I have made a switch from using TubeBuddy to using vidIQ. And you know what? I'm loving it. Just over a year ago, I talked about the importance of using TubeBuddy to do keyword research for your YouTube channel. And at that time, I was adamant that TubeBuddy is the much better tool because it is just a lot easier to use. Well, a lot of things can change in a year and vidIQ has made some vast improvements to their application and it is freaking good right now. I will show you why, but before that, I want to make it clear that I am in no way bashing TubeBuddy. I still use TubeBuddy myself and this is just my personal opinion. So. Don't take this too seriously. Okay, first off is their user interface. It is just so modern and easy to use. And this is very different from a year ago where I found it to be overloaded with information and there are just so many things all over the place. I didn't like it because as someone who just started creating on YouTube, too much information can be overwhelming and I don't even know where to begin. But now look, the dashboard is clean and simple and straightforward and it just gives me a really great overview of my YouTube channel's performance. This is the pro plan by the way and it does cost me $10 a month so I do get to see a little bit more but there's a reason I pay for it and I'll get to that in a second. Now there are three things I really like in this dashboard that I find TubeBuddy does not have at least not yet. The first one is keyword opportunities. These are keywords that vidIQ suggests I can go after just by looking at what type of keywords I am trying to rank for. For example, vidIQ has suggested that I can go after keywords like how to create a YouTube channel, how to start a YouTube channel where there is a relatively high search volume even though the competition is also high, but at least they put them all into one really clean dashboard and I can have a look at it and decide by myself to see whether I should go after that keyword or not. The next one is competitors. Now, I wouldn't call this competitors. It is more like channels that I can model off from because these channels have similar niche to mine and they're absolutely dominating it right now, at least compared to my channel. So I need to learn from them. And that is why having this on my dashboard really helps, especially when I can see an increase in percentage. Whenever there's an increase in percentage, there's something that they are doing right now that really works for them and I need to learn from them really fast. The next one that I really like is top videos. Now, this is similar to keyword opportunities, except this tells me what's my video style and thumbnail actually works. And we all know how important that is, especially for audience retention. Now, of course, it isn't just the dashboard that I love. I also really love the keywords function. Here, vidIQ lists down all the keyword opportunities for me, which is great because these aren't just keywords. This can also be used as the title for my future videos. So this essentially helps me without needing me to do much research because I always run out of ideas and I always run out of words to use. So not long later, I'll start circling around those same words that I use and the keywords that I come up with is always the same. With keywords opportunities, I can select one, for example, YouTube algorithm 2021, click on it and then even more keywords appear. And here's what stands out to me in vidIQ compared to TubeBuddy. The keywords they suggested are different variations of the same topic, which is YouTube algorithm. In TubeBuddy, when I look up YouTube algorithm, the other keywords they suggested are simply words appended to the word YouTube algorithm. So the choices I have are limited and I have to think even more. And I don't like to think when I'm researching, I just like to be spoon fed. On top of that, they also show us videos that are ranking for those keywords, which helps a lot if we want to see what other YouTubers are talking about in this topic. And and it helps us gauge if this keyword is actually worth going after. The other thing that vidIQ improved on is the search volume. Now, previously, this search volume was really vague, like it only shows a rough rounded number. Let me see if I can give you an example. All right, have a look at this number 40,000 and this number here, which is about 10,000. Previously, 
this search volume is going to appear as 50,000. And so it indirectly affects which keyword I should go for because I don't know which is more accurate. And I really wish I had the screenshot for you to have a look at what it is before, but unfortunately I don't. But now this has improved a lot and it just has more accurate numbers to it. I mean, we still can't rely on this 100%. It is still far from being accurate, but this estimate is enough to help in any keyword research. But what I really like is being able to see a number rather than just a gauge on whether this is a highly searched term. And I'm a numbers person, so being able to see numbers just gives me a lot more confidence. And of course, there's the competition with low being the ones that we should go for and high, here, high being the ones that we can still rank for but it depends on how big your channel really is. And all of these are laid out beautifully on one single page, which makes things so much easier and takes the frustration away from us as content creators. And those are pretty much the features and functions that I find really useful. They did not give too much like how I remembered it last year, now they give just enough. And that is very important, especially for us new content creators. What I really like about vidIQ now is I can do all my keyword research within their software and I don't have to log into my YouTube studio and use an extension unlike TubeBuddy because I really hate researching on YouTube studio. It is just so slow. Which brings me to my next point, speed. Keyword research to me is the most boring part of all as a content creator. And I can spend literally hours researching keywords and topics searching on YouTube. But vidIQ takes that away from me and saves me a lot of time. And that in return makes me more efficient. And to me, that is very important because my content style isn't of high production or high quality. I'm more towards churning out videos after videos. So having a vast amount of topics to choose from is absolutely crucial to me. And the last thing I want to say about VidIQ is that I am impressed at how it continues to evolve and change, which is so very important to me, especially in the world of software. VidIQ also has their own YouTube channel, which recently just passed 1 million subscribers. Congratulations, guys. And the channel is very active. This to me builds trust with their customers, um, their users. And it shows me that I'm paying for a service that's isn't dormant. I'm paying for something that continues to grow based on the user's feedback. TubeBuddy is just different. And that's not to say TubeBuddy isn't very good. I just have different thoughts on them after using them for over a year. And I'll explain that more in another video. But all I can say is I just don't see that level of responsiveness in TubeBuddy compared to vidIQ. Anyways, that's all from me. If you would like to try out vidIQ yourself for your YouTube channel, I have left a link down in the description below. Just keep in mind that link is an affiliate link, but you do not pay anything extra. It is just a way for you to show support for my YouTube channel. So thumbs up if you like this video, subscribe if you love this channel. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.